Phelps, Bukowski, you have a new case. Two women, possible drink drive. How is that a case? The broad says she was doped and that somebody tried to kill her. Where did this take place? That's the bitch you're gonna love. Right across the street. What? A Chevy style line took a nosedive off the escarpment, fetched up underneath a Cola King billboard. Up to it, boys. We got bad guys to catch. I'm just praying the prints come through so I can nail this son. See you later, fellas. Try not to work too hard. Well, look at you bantering with the boys. Brings a tear to my eye watching my caterpillar grow wings. I'm just trying to fit in. Educated, hardworking, straight as an arrow. I hate to break it to you, Cole, but you'll never fit in at Central. Seems like a nice boy, putting all those hoodlums in jail. I'm going to memorize. Stop just ahead. Her face looks familiar. Well, that's June Ballard, <laughs> Tarzan's sister, beast of the Amazon. She's married to Guy McAfee. The captain has moved to Vegas now, but the two of them still have juice. Phelps, traffic. Detective Phelps. Hey, Bukowski. Long time no see. You could have called this in by megaphone, Enrique. <laughs> Phelps, this is Enrique Gonzalez. Enrique was a pretty decent middleweight. What do we have, Gonzalez? Broad drives right through the empty lot and off the side of the escarpment. Her story is that a movie producer doped her and her friend and sent the car over the cliff. Was anyone hurt? Driver's beat up. Not too bad, considering if she hadn't hit that billboard, we'd be scraping both of them off the pavement. Passengers are Jessica Hamilton. She's just a kid. Pretty knocked around. Kid gonna be all right? I think so. They've taken her to Central Receiving. If you want to take a look around, stall the ambulance. Thanks. Do that. One more thing. Watch out for the driver. She cuts rough. Hey. Out of the way. Uh, if you're looking for the coroner, he's down by the crash site. Mrs. McAfee, we would like to ask you a few questions, if that's okay. I prefer to use my maiden name, June Ballard. You might be familiar with some of my work. Can you tell us what happened here? You're kind of cute for a cop. Maybe a bit on the serious side. What about me, June? I'm a big fan of beasts. You? Beast I don't like. Keep out of this. We understand that you're still suffering from the effects of the accident, Mrs. McAfee. The officer says that you claim that you were drugged. Who did this to you? That rat slipped us a Mickey Finn. It's no wonder I feel so dopey. I can't remember. Who drugged you, Mrs. McAfee? 
<laughs> you really are a cute detective. But a little too naive for my taste. This is a big scene, Phelps. We need to get our bearings. Let's go see the coroner. You'll want to see this, Phelps. There, laid out on the trunk. And that isn't even the best part. They've been torn off. Where did you find them? They were stuffed in the young lady's handbag. I'll run a trace for semen when I get back to the lab. She's a long way from home. Looks like they're lucky they weren't more badly injured. Must have been unconscious. Being relaxed tends to lessen the soft tissue damage. Drunk driver? Maybe not. How so? Well, a head I found without a body piqued my interest. See what you think. <laughs> Alas, poor Yorick. I knew him, Horatio. <clears throat> Is it real? No. I think it's supposed to be a replica of an Indian shrunken head. It's some kind of... What's it made from? Plaster of Paris would be my first guess, then painted. So we can rule out the murder angle? No, you can rule that in. That thing was wedging the accelerator to the floor. Whoever did it wanted these women dead. We should speak to Ballard again. She might not be telling us the whole story. What can you tell us about the passenger in your car? Jessica Hamilton. Poor Jessica. It's been a rough day for her. She's desperate to break into movies. What more can I say? I think you're lying, Mrs. McAfee. I think something happened to Jessica yesterday before the crash. I'm offended, Sunshine. 
Do you have any proof? Miss Hamilton's underwear were physically torn from her body. She wanted to go to a casting. I took her to a casting. Whatever happened after that is between her and Mark Bishop. We found a shrunken head that was used to tamper with your car. You see, I normally don't drive off cliffs. The last thing I remember is getting behind the wheel. It's obviously some kind of movie prop. You must know where it came from. In case you hadn't noticed, I am the talent. And the talent doesn't deal with props or sets or any of that kind of stuff. Why don't you ask Mark Bishop which prop house he uses? You mentioned a Mark Bishop. You think he might have had something to do with this? He is a movie producer. As for his involvement, you just leave it to me and my husband to worry about. I want to know what happened between you two that made him want to commit a double murder. Bishop offered me a part in his picture. Then he withdrew it. Fact is, we had a deal. I pressed him on it, and this is where I end up. Mrs. McAfee, I think it would be in everyone's best interest if you accompanied Patrolman Gonzalez back to the receiving hospital. I'm going to be okay. These guys can take me home after. My lawyer and I have talked to the news hounds. Mrs. McAfee, you are still under the influence of narcotics, and you're likely to go into shock once the drugs wear off. And I thought you were a heel. It's nice of you to be concerned. I think we're good here. Let's go see what we can shake out of the kid. Roger, en route. Detective Phelps, here to interview a Jessica Hamilton. Jessica Hamilton? Oh, yes. She's in the room right behind you, Detective. You can't hold me here. No! I don't need to Feeling be better since this by a doctor. Morning, I need my lawyer! A little. Hey! Where is so the telephone? Strong. Do you know who I am? Hello, Jessica. Uh, my name is Cole Phelps. I'm a policeman. I'd like to talk to you about your accident, if that's okay. Um, okay. Can you tell me what you remember about the crash? It's all kind of fuzzy. I remember waking up here. Nothing happened yesterday. Tell the truth, Jessica. Why the big cover-up? I'm not lying to you. We found your underwear in your handbag, Jessica. You need to tell us what happened. The doctor told me what happened. I, I didn't want that. I just wanted to be a star, to be in movies. I told Junie what happened, and she told me to toughen up. That that was the price of stardom. Did she now? 
cold-hearted bitch. It's not Junie's fault. It's not my first time. I had a boyfriend back home, but my father found out about him. Even if you consented, Jessica, you're still underage. We need to get in touch with your parents, Jessica, to tell them what has happened. Oh, you don't need to worry them. They sent me along to stay with Aunt June. They trust her to take care of me. You're lying, Jessica. How are we going to make this right if you lie to us? Please, Detective, why would I lie to you? Because you're a runaway, Jessica, and you don't have your parents' permission to be here. Now, do you want to tell me what really happened? I went with Junie to this strange place. It's difficult to remember. Someone gave me a drink to calm my nerves, and then I felt faint. I think I must have passed out. How did you meet Mr. Bishop? Well, Junie is a big movie star. You probably know that. She's doing a new movie. What's the story with Bishop and Mrs. McAfee? Why does he want the two of you dead? That can't be true. Mr. Bishop seemed very happy today. I mean, yesterday. And that's why he wedged a shrunken head against the accelerator pedal and punted the two of you over an escarpment? I overheard Junie speaking to him on the phone a couple of times. Screaming, really. She can be very hard sometimes, Junie. But they seemed okay yesterday. Like they worked it out. I know what happened to you, Jessica. Where exactly did it take place? Please, it's scary. It's really difficult to think of anything. Someone tried to kill you, Jessica. Do you get it? Forget about being in movies. It's time to act like a grown up. I had to wear a robe and lay down on a stone. There were lights, a camera. It's not my fault. I'm not a bad girl. Why are you trying to hurt me? Thank you, Jessica. You've been a big help. Here's my card. If you think of anything or you need some help, just get in touch, okay? Okay. I think it might be a good idea if you went back home till you felt better, Jessica. I couldn't do that, officer. What if I got the part and I wasn't there? Not much help. It's the tale of this town, Cole. Lambs that go willingly to slaughter. Who the hell is that? Must be her lawyer. He certainly expedited her release. I don't like it, Cole. Why is she in such a hurry? We should follow her. There she goes. Come on. She seems to have made a remarkably speedy recovery.
Get in there and see what she's up to. Him taught a lesson. You know what I want. Well, then make someone else do it. You still know people out here, don't you? Then make some calls. I'm going to be very clear about this. You get this done, or I'm. Wilson's Hotel. Mr. Mark. Bishop, that son of a bitch, lives in apartment 803. Did you get the film? Sure, I got the film. What's the story? I'm guessing she didn't stop for light refreshments. She made a call. Sounds like Mark Bishop has a heap of trouble headed his way. I've got an address. Wilson's Hotel, apartment 803. Oh shit, you better step on it. If he's got any sense, he'll be as far away from home as possible. If he had any sense, he wouldn't have tried bumping off Guy McAfee's wife in the first place. Or he'd have done the job properly. McAfee will break a fella's legs just for looking at his broad the wrong way. What did you make of the kid? You believe her story? Kill someone! I think she was doped out of her tiny mind and given the casting couch. That fucking bitch Ballard sold her out. So if Ballard was doing someone a favor, why did they try to kill her? to the apartment before someone gets hurt. You the cops? I tried to stop them. It's, it's room 803, left out of the elevator. Sounds like we're about to make it a hat trick of hysterical female witnesses. Give it up, LAPD! I'm about to break your goddamn jaw. All right, if you really want to dance, this is shouldn't have tangled with me, friend.
Last warning. You want to back off right now. I'm about to break your goddamn... Stand down now. Shouldn't have tangled with me, friend. Are you injured, Mrs. Bishop? I'm all right now. Those horrible, awful men. Perhaps you should sit down, ma'am. Yes, yes. Forgive me, officers. I'm very flushed. I'll just sit down for a moment. That's perfectly normal, ma'am. Take a moment while we look around. Yes, thank you. Well, just look at this mess. doesn't tell me anything. Doesn't give me anything to go on. set downtown. Great Wall of Babylon, a replica of a replica. Doubt it. It would take a smarter man than me to connect that. I don't think so. What do you have to do to earn twenty thousand dollars? Incidental. Doesn't look like anything.
Those men, I think they work for Guy McAfee. Do you know the name? No. Why should I? June Ballard is married to Guy McAfee. Have you heard of her? That slut. She's been badgering my husband for days. Mrs. McAfee alleges that your husband tried to kill her and her friend last night. I think you should tell us what you know. My husband's a movie producer. This has something to do with his new picture. He doesn't include me in his business. June Ballard said she had a deal to be in his new picture. Mark repeatedly told her no. He had Joan Leslie lined up for the role. That's how he got the finance. June made all kinds of threats. She was very rude to me. You know June Ballard? We were both on the same pick. That's how I met my husband. Why is your husband paying Lorna Hopgood $20,000? Lorna? Marlon's ex-wife? Are you sure? Your husband looks like he's being blackmailed. They obviously have something on him if he's prepared to kill to cover it up. Why is the payment going to Hopgood and not McAfee? Lorna works at a check cashing place in Hollywood. You need to ask Hopgood why he needs that much money in cash. Your husband was at a casting yesterday with a young girl? Not that I know of. He told me he was looking at locations. The picture's been cast. Jessica remembered a mermaid. The mermaid on the front of the prop store. You better come clean with me. This is a sick town, detective. Are you sure you really want to know? The truth is, my husband likes them young. And you think that's okay? I was 16 when I first met him. I thought he was a genius. A magician with film. I was 20 before I realized he was just a B-movie hack. But he's nothing compared to some of the monsters at these big studios. My guess is, Ballard sacrificed her little friend. Happens to a lot of girls. the set, Hollywood's own little piece of Babylon. Presented to Mark.
An aging movie star, a wannabe starlet, and a movie producer's wife. Finally rubbing shoulders with the almost rich famous. And from the stories they've given us, clearly none of them can act. Goddamn wedding. Has that just been hey, don't mind me. This isn't what we're looking for. Looks like a mermaid in the background. Silver screen. Who are these men in the picture? My husband, Mark, and Marlon Hopgood. They work together on occasion. That's Hopgood's shop. Where can we find your husband, ma'am? He told me he would be on set. That's all I know. Mm -hmm. 
Either we find him or McAfee's people do, Mrs. Bishop. If you care for him, you should make sure that we find him first. I do care for him. But I don't really know where he'd go if you were in trouble. Hopgood might know. Your husband is in trouble. It could go easier for him if you were more helpful, Mrs. Bishop. He's a big boy, detective, and so are you. This is Hollywood. There's always a deal to be done. Operator, give me R and I. Putting you through now. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. How could I help, detective? I need a location on a silver screen prop store. Just a moment. Silver screen props, corner third and Figueroa. Thanks. Mrs. Bishop knows more than she's letting on. She doesn't seem to realize how much trouble her husband is in. The LAPD are the least of their worries right now. Eh, you think she'd have gotten the hint after those hatchet men redecorated her apartment? Maybe she's just loyal. Or she's in on it. She didn't seem like your average giddy broad with nothing between the ears. Or she might just be trying to buy enough time for Bishop to put a couple of oceans between him and McCaffrey. You're taking the next left. Can go ahead, KGPL. 11K. Up on the roof, officer. He has a mask on his face. I caught sight when he shoved past me, but be careful. I saw him waving a gun. Now, make it easy on yourself. Get the hell away from me. What's your rut? Hurry, still catch him.
All units, so 459 just occurred at 6th and Saris. Any unit to handle, code 2, identify. Up on the roof, officer. He has a mask on his face. I caught sight when he shoved past me, but be careful. I saw him waving a gun. Now, make it easy on yourself. Get the hell away from me. Oh. What's your rut? Hurry, you can still catch him. I think you're doing this on purpose. Okay, so I'm going to continue with the microphone now. 
apparently so far I'm a bit confused with this case but I managed to work it out and I guess I use a microphone because I do comment a little bit which might make it a bit more fun in the beginning I thought alright I'm not going to use it because I want to just enjoy the gameplay by myself but I am enjoying it and like for example with the cars I was like how the heck how the hell does the car have the doors when I smash the doors off or did you see that car crash before and look mermaid titty so anyway it'll be chill commentary Phelps and Bukowski LAPD we're investigating the attempted murder of June Ballard and Jessica Hamilton I just paused it just to change the audio out. Christ. I'm Marlon Hopgood. How can I help? You hold castings here? How'd you hear about that? I got a little soundstage out back. Lead the way. Well, that was those gay, gay cowboys. So, you coming? The style. The 40s genre. Look at that. This stuff must be from like the 1800s. Look at all this. Where'd he go? Oh, he went in here. Keep him here, Stefan. I'm gonna take a look around. What's this got to do with me? Don't try my patience, knucklehead. Huh. Well, well. Find a way into that peep den, Phelps. I'll stay here and keep our pervert company. It's so, like, realistic in the classic lifestyle, and it's just absolutely amazing. It can't be that way, Phelps. You couldn't fit a rat through there. So what happened to the film of Hamilton's screen test? Jungle Drums, 8th and Francisco. Attention, Mark Bishop.
much is them in the toilet? Oh. And I uh, have to call you back. I got some business here. Sit down, boy. This, this is Mickey. Mickey, this is Courtney Sheldon. What would you like to drink? Scotch. Straight up. I hear you're back at school learning to be a doctor, kid. Yes. That's right, Mr. Cohen. You want to be a doctor and a dope peddler. Oh, no, it's the guy that gives you drugs to, huh? to the soldier. Do we have a problem, Mr. Cohen? We might have. Yeah. Selling your dope to my boy Lenny looked like a good move, but Lenny has been supplying uh, wholesale, so to speak. The Bindle boys in this town aren't used to the juice without a little of the middleman taking his cut. Lenny promised that wouldn't happen, Mr. Connell. And Lenny works for you. What can I say about Lenny? Let me think. Oh, yeah, he's a putz. And he's lazy, and he's greedy, but he's my wife's brother. How can you make a cake with those ingredients, huh? <laughs> so how is that my problem, Mr. Cohen? Well, kid, the only way we're going to be able to make this work is to do some repackaging. We need to get the dope out of those dinky little cardboard boxes and... Surrettes. Yeah, surrettes. Great. Right. And put it into a big vat so we can water it down a little bit. I won't bore you with the chemistry, but it doesn't work well. You're likely to kill even more people. Okay, listen. We want to buy you out, kid. I'll offer you 50 grand. Oh, hey! God. Hey! You don't like my offer? The Sheldon kid? I think I want him dead. Oh. I think during this time in Los Angeles, there were a lot of people that died because of narcotics. Done, but I have to go back to the guys because something's not right. This is going to help us. What now? Search through all this crazy movie junk. See what turns out. Press square to talk. I'm pressing it. McAfee's men are looking for Bishop. We need to find him first. 
Any idea where he might have gone to ground? If he really tried to kill McAfee's wife, my advice to him would be to leave town. You're delivering props to Jungle Drums on 8th Street? Bishop is using that old rundown wreck of a set. That place is dangerous. But it might be a good spot to hide. Detectives! Johnny Goldberg, you work for Mickey C. That's right, detectives. You wouldn't happen to know the guys who roughed up Mrs. Bishop earlier today by any chance. No, no, not us. We don't do that kind of thing. It's the husband we'd like to talk to. This is a police matter. You don't want to be taken in for obstruction of justice, do you boys? You could try the obstruction rap, but uh, it won't stick. We could beat that. You've had your ten cents worth, gentlemen. Bishop knows how the world works. Mrs. McAfee hits him up for a movie part. Happens every day. But Bishop takes it a step too far and tries to rub out Mrs. McAfee. Naturally, Guy is going to get upset. What made you think Bishop would be here? We figure he might be planning a little accident for Hopgood, too. Those two guys have got some unfinished business. You let us know if you find Bishop. Guy McAfee can be a very generous man. I'm only going to warn you once, gentlemen. Stay out of this. This is a police matter. We will be bringing Mark Bishop into custody. <laughs> At least he's polite. He's kind of dumb, but polite. But I'm a lot less polite, you smug son of a bitch. So let me put it in ruder terms that even a pair of blockheads like you might be. The only reason that you don't have bars on your windows already is because you're small fry. And we don't waste our time on small fry. You stay away from Bishop, and you stay away from me. Is that clear enough for you, asshole? Now run along back to your boss so we can pat you on the head and tell you what good boys you are. Just like the good old times. You used to see in the movies, where like, you pat them on the head. What the? Are we gonna shoot them? They really don't want anybody getting the fishing before they do. I'll try for the tires. Keep your foot down. We need to lose those fools, Phelps! People in 1947 have no sense. Make the move! Sit, duck, 
Hawks here. Either give me a good shot or get us the hell out of here. I need to be closer, Cole. <laughs> Let's see him chase us now. On to the movie set, Phelps. Let's roll. Oh, Christ. They say working traffic is like watching paint dry. <sighs> you know how to piss people off, McCaffrey. Hey, if they're prepared to gun down cops in broad daylight, McCaffrey really means business. Seems like we're the only ones who want Bishop alive. I have a good mind just to let him go work on the son of a bitch. I'm about done putting my life on the line to protect some child molester. That's our job, unfortunately. They don't get to dole out the justice. So they were trying to protect the child molester. Or I think they were gonna kill him. But we have to go into a ninja. There's a slippery bastard now. No. God damn it! Mark Bishop, stop! LAPD! Get him, Phelps. I'll cover the exit. This is an actual landmark. Neither am I. We're trying to help you, Bishop! This is all a big mistake! Oh, you were close with us, dude. Oh, wow. It's us or McAfee's boys, your choice. I didn't do anything. Oh, Bishop, that's enough. Don't make this any harder on yourself, Bishop. for the attempted murder of June Ballard and the rape and attempted murder of Jessica Hamilton. All right, I'll come quietly. Just don't kill me. If you found me, then McAvee's good and will too. We need, we need to get after this. All right, you stay close. Any tricks, and I'll save McAvee's boys the trouble. Follow me. I know another way out of this place. Yes, they're trying to kill him. Detective, they're trying to kill me! Last chance to back the hell down! You're pretty 
It's this way. McAfee doesn't make the rules. You hear me? Kill them for God's sake! I don't want to die! LAPD, you're making a big mistake. Best McCaffrey's got? There's no way out of here. I thought you said you knew where you were going. We have to jump for it. Oh my god, they're everywhere. Kill a cop, and it's the electric chair. Come on, it's this way. How long do you think you can hold out? I don't talk for a while, it's just because I'm really focused on the game. Right now I'm not. An all-around piece of shit catches a fast ticket to Quentin for statue rape and attempted murder. So he gets to spend the next 15 years playing sissy instead of sticking it to little girls. That is justice with a capital J, Detective Phelps. Felt such a reputation, I'm not gonna be able to hold on to you any longer. You're getting promoted. Go on, get your new assignment. It was good working with you, son.
Phelps, Bukowski. This your work? Can I help you, Detective? Sorry, Cap. Didn't see you there. Yeah, I'll bet you did. This is a traffic case. You need something? I'm here to buy a drink for the two LAPD traffic cops who broke the back of Guy McAfee's private army. You don't have a problem with that, do you, Captain? Go right ahead. Get in. I'm buying it. You like jazz, Cole? The hopheads love it. Sure, I guess. Big bands and swing, I can understand, but this bebop palaver? How are you supposed to dance to that? This is Phelps, Leroy. Be nice to him. You'll like this place. They treat you right. You like a table, Leroy? What do you think we want to do? Stand at the bar like chumps? table ready for you. Don't look so happy to see me, Alphonse. I might get the wrong impression. Cool, this is Alphonse. He's a French Negro from Africa. Can you beat that? The Congo. A pleasure to meet you, Alphonse. Is Elsa singing tonight? Yes, she is. She has the next set. Come on, Cole. You can meet Elsa while they're fixing us a table. You'll like her. She's something else. Maybe another night, Roy. She's pretty beat up about Get your hands off me. Don't ever tell me what to do or what not to do, Alphonse. You got a nice club here. Don't spoil it. If you will follow me, detectives. Just through the door. He was my only real friend, Harlan. We went through it all. You realize what he did to me? Of course I do. You have no idea. You said it was construction work. It was an industrial accident, Elsa. How can I be held responsible? Elsa! Are you going on? Louis, for God's sake, he was my best friend. The only man who ever loved me without putting his hands on me. Hi, Elsa. Here's someone I'd like you to meet. Cole Phelps, war hero and crime fighter extraordinaire. And why would I want to meet another fascist from the LAPD? Sorry about this, Cole. What an evening I'm having. First a Negro puts his hands on me, and then this. Who do you think you're talking to, you German junkie whore? Don't you ever forget your place with me again. Do you hear me? Yeah, this is the way they treat black people. Still. Evening, Doc. How's business? Back in the 40s. Sanguine. Louis, help me here. I'm gonna have to give her something before her performance. Blow it off, Cole. These artsy fartsy types always get a little flighty. Meet Dr. Harlan Fontaine, Doctor to the Stars. Mr. Fix it to the mental wreckage of Hollywood. I give her drugs, but not necessarily segregation, but. So, what about that drink, the boys? It's still bad. I'm still racist in it, and it was acceptable. It's acceptable. Then. So, it's, it's understandable that they put it in, and it's good that they put it in. To make it very realistic. And I like that. City damage, $100, vehicle damage, yeah, I pretty screwed up my car, I mean, if you saw my car, the two doors came off, and then the, the hood almost came off, I did injure someone, Bishop takes the fall, but oh, good, good. oh yeah, we forgot to check everyone, the thing, the thing I don't like is, once you go to Bishop, it's like the final one, Hopgood was, a, was another clue, but sometimes you don't get that. You don't get to there. Homicide desk.
right, gentlemen, take your seats. Let's get this over before lunch. Clyde Rose of the Homicide Squad has decided to take early retirement. We will all miss Floyd and the steely edge he brought to his police work. The department has arranged a wee drink at the Galway Arms to quench the mighty thirst a man gets from 25 years of police work. Floyd's departure leaves a place at the top table, and the chief has seen fit to promote Cole Phelps from burglary to the homicide desk. Stand up, Phelps. Take a chair. You're in the major leagues now, Sonny. Rusty Galloway, a fine lawman of the old school, will be taking you under his wing. Your first case is the murder of a woman, found last night and bearing all the signs of the werewolf. Get out to the scene, lads. You can tell me if he's a bit Irish. Sit all fair in love and war. Let me check the outfits. Can I check the outfits? No. You have the address. It's been all over KGPL. It's off Temple Street, between Belmont and Glendale. Clues. But yeah, before he was a traffic police, and he was only assigned to the cases in special scenarios. saddled with a chump like you, Phelps. I didn't ask for you, and I don't want you, so keep it to yourself. See if you can learn something about seeing how a real cop operates. What did he mean by the werewolf? The Dahlia. The Daily News came out calling him the werewolf killer. The examiner came up with the Black Dahlia. Were any closer to catching him? Not a chance. Six months and hundreds of guys running down leads, and we got nothing. You don't think this has anything to do with it? No. I don't. 90% of murders are domestic. Some guy gets into a beef with his wife and takes it too far. This will be the same. But cutting someone in half and leaving them off the sidewalk, it's a one-off. Why so many women this year? Because of the war. You should know that. Guy gets to kill people every day in combat. Comes home, he's expected to take lip from his wife. What do you think's going to happen? It's that simple. Like I said, most of the time it is. Examiner Galloway, you could use some good press. Another tramp, another message. Is the werewolf back in business, boys? Do you have a mother, asshole? A sister? How about showing some respect for this poor woman? Let us do our job, and Detective Galloway will give you a statement later. He's good, Rusty. He even sounds genuine. That's Phelps, guys. The war hero. Defending the honor of murdered humps. They're used to it, Phelps. Move along, guys. You got your pictures, you got your headlines. Now scram. Oh, I've got a new guy with me. Then you don't realize. Trollman, this your beat? Yes, sir. Well, part of it. Kids park here, they use it like a lover's lane. It's a working neighborhood. Some trouble, but 
Nothing like this. It's so known locally as the morgue. You were first on the scene? Yes, Detective. No one's disturbed the body? No, sir. We cleared out them vulture reporters so Pinker and the coroner could work. They're waiting to talk to you. Go house to house and see what you come up with. What can you tell me about the shoe prints? Men's size eights. Pinker lifted impressions for me to compare back at the lab. Has the scene been secured? Patrolman and Houlihan saw to it. The victim's personal effects are still where they fell. Cause of death? Could be the head injuries. Hmm. Interesting. What caused the blunt force injury to the face? Could be anything from a baseball bat to a lug wrench. I'll have more details after the autopsy. What about this wound on the finger? Something removed, a ring most likely. I assume it was taken post-mortem. What's the writing on the victim mean? BD, like Dahlia, Tex, your guess is as good as mine. Could be something to it, or it could be the killers trying to throw you off the scent. Either way, I'll run tests on the lipstick. Any idea of the time of death? From the temperature, I'd say after midnight. I'll confirm with you later. Looks like some kind of puzzle or parlor game. The victim's bag? Looks brand new. Can't be the one used on the body. Bomba Club? Why steal a table lighter? Can we get to the Bomba? Man could die of thirst in a case like this. Find anything interesting?
music is so good and classic. The play is in its style. It's so the werewolf? For my Not money, sure. copycat. Hmm? We can't rule it out. We need to work the evidence. <laughs> You'd love that, wouldn't you? A big head to hang on your wall. The color of the decade. I've been working Evan on some BD case for six months and got nicked. There's a difference, Rusty. Oh, yeah? I just started working it today. Okay, hotshot. What's more likely? The werewolf comes back around, leaving us alone in the court? He clearly has a thing for power. Power over women. Why not power over the police department as well? Let me finish, Phelps. A guy opens his mouth again after six months of stooping. Or some opportunist who's been reading about the BD figures, he'll rip off the M.O. and get himself a freebie. That's not totally fantastic. You know, the examiner of the Daily News might be good at coming up with monikers, but they're terrible for police work. There's a reason we didn't get the son of a bitch after the short murder with them, locusts. Where do you think the werewolf killer is now? Uh, dead by his own hand, stationed somewhere else with the armed forces. San Quentin, another town, another country, who knows? So, Phelps, I understand you want to turn this into a big case, but it doesn't work like that, all right? A case will come and find you. you can't make it something it ain't, understand? So you don't think the werewolf has continued to operate in the Los Angeles area? No chance. We would have found him. Gentlemen, what can I get you? Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. Were you working here last night? Yes. How can I help, officer? You can start with your name. Garrett Mason. You're the regular bartender on nights? I'm a temporary barman. I work for an agency. I fill in at bars across town. Do you remember a woman who came in here last night? Five feet seven, about 110 pounds, blonde hair, about 40 years of age. You mean Celine Henry? Yes. Do you know anything about her? I don't. But the owner, Mr. McCall, serves her most nights. Would you like to speak to him? I would. He sits at the back of the club. Where's a hibiscus? You can't miss him. Is there anything else? Quiet away, Phelps. I'll stay here a little fart. Pour me three fingers of rye. I should have checked beforehand to see if they already had this in the people's book. Like if they already knew who the person was before you even went. I think he's a bit of a ganguero. You going to... Detective Phelps, LAPD. We're investigating the murder of Celine Henry. Do you know her? Celine? Christ. Sure I know her. She and I and... Jacob, her husband, we go way back. She was here last night? Sure, she's a regular. Selene is... was a... lovely woman. Was Mrs. Henry here with anyone last night? Not at first. Celine already had quite a head start. But she attracted attention? Certainly. A few gentlemen became very enamored with her and her stories. One guy in particular. You know him? No. He's been in a couple of times. Did they leave together? Yes, at around 11. If it helps, I made the guy's license plate.
I think this could be a great help, sir. Thank you. Mrs. Henry appeared to be missing a ring, torn from her finger, but not her wedding finger. Celine always wore a red garnet ring on the large side. Larger than life, like Celine herself. Did she have it a long time? Sure. Since way back in her flying days. Did her husband buy it for her? No, it was, uh, it was before Jacob. I think you know where the ring came from, and I think you're gonna tell me. Okay. I bought it years ago. I carried a torch for Selena in those days. Guess I always have. The old man never knew about it. You know the husband? Sure I know Jacob. He was in the Corps. He met Selene on a furlough and married her when the war was finished. He put up with all the load of shit. Do you think he killed his wife? No. No, not in my opinion. So if it wasn't Jacob, then you probably let her out of here with the guy who killed her. How do you feel about that? Stole the attitude, will you? I tried to get on to Jacob. I rang him up. Asked him to come pick her up like usual. But he refused. And she picked some night to push him over the edge. I rang him back around 11.30, but got no answer. Thanks, Mr. McCall. You've been a big help. One more thing. Would you have an address for Celine? 142 North Union Avenue. God knows I had to send her home in enough cabs to remember that. I think he's a bit of a... You ought to meet Joe's buddy. He's nice. Really. Let's get out of here. Hey, what's the hurry? My stool was just starting to warm up nicely. No, 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 wrong seat, wrong seat, wrong seat. I don't want to drive. You find the booze helps you get through a working day? Sharp as my investigatory instincts, fellas. A smart lawyer might use that to throw out anything you collect today. A smart man might know it's unwise to stand between the patient and his medicine. As long as you're not falling over, Rusty, I'll let it slide. <laughs> That's mighty kind of you, Phil. Cole Phelps, badge 1247. What can I do for you, officer? I need a registered owner on a license plate, 2Boy8899. Yes, Detective. I'll need to contact the DMV. Shall I relay the details via KGPL? Please. Thank you. Shut up, you idiot. I'm a police, you don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Oh, I'm not sure.
Watch it, will you? Let's go take the look all the way Yeah, yeah. See, I used to play it early in the morning. I played it a long time ago when it was originally on PS3, and then when it, but I've forgotten about it. almost everything. I just know, like, really tiny pieces or the beginning of cases. Like I knew that there was a dead woman with a red lipstick. Move you idiot. So to play it again and to, and to find out all these things. Side window's been Jimmy. Looks like somebody's creeped the joint. Jimmy. Yeah, and the reason why I died when the mask gunman killed me is because I didn't really know what I was doing when it said subdue. And the punching guy, I really didn't know what I was doing. Nines above average for a lady. Burglar used the pry bar. Why did you kick the door in? You think I'm going to climb through a broken window in a $30 suit? You got another thing coming, Buster. $30. Even the prices back then, I realize. This doesn't pertain to the case. Yeah. 
So Lean and Jacob are obviously having problems. It speaks to motive. Crime scene evidence still weighs against it being the husband. Jacob could give us something to go on. One of my exes drank like this, you'd be feeling the back of my hand. Call in burglary and get technical services out here. I'll talk to the neighbors. Don't take all day about it, Phelps. I get nasty when I'm thirsty. Galloway, homicide, badge number 564. Requesting technical services for a suspected 459 at 142 North Union. No good to me. They allow you to confront your past. You said the house would be empty. Are you taking the medication I have prescribed? You said the house would be empty. I heard them screaming. The circumstances were unfortunate. My colleagues had made all the necessary arrangements. You said the house would be empty. You're killing me! The deaths were unfortunate. But you have dealt with death before. You said the house would be empty! How can I find peace? Because the long books, you only you can open them. Isn't these books? Where is it? It doesn't appear to be connected. Junk might explain the missing ring. A regular Amelia Earhart per day. The ring looks distinctive.
Going hard. Follow, Follow my lead. lead. Going hard. You Jacob Henry? Yeah. Who's asking? LAPD. You're under arrest for the murder of your wife, Celine Henry. Murder? Celine? Save the dramatics oh, for my RKL, God. pal. You got bigger problems. What the hell are you talking about? You come in here, you, you tell me that Celine is... Take a seat, Mr. Henry. She's... We're gonna have a look around, I... then we'll talk. Jesus, I'm sorry. I... I get even the slightest hint that you're a flight risk, pal. Nope. Probably not, though. You think the atmosphere's thick in here? Wait till you try to gas it. Do you see something in the air? You can see it in the pencil. He'll be back in problem there is, what to do about the old lady. Size 11. Seems irrelevant. One oh, minute, everyone. I'm just going to take a little break. Ideas? Ask him some questions. 
Keep it simple. I'll do the rest. You do the rest. You do the rest. Well, that's tall, big man. So who could have killed Celine? Where did she go last night? A bar, I suppose. Look, I don't know. We get the impression that Celine liked to live the glamorous life. How did she end up with a hump like you, Jacob? Celine was one of the first woman pilots. She hung out with movie stars and royalty. When she came back here broke and struggling, she married a mechanic, put a roof over her head, food on the table. Not glamorous, but the best I could do. I'm not ashamed about that. When did you last see your wife, Mr. Henry? Last night. I went to see her. We talked. Things... Got a little out of hand. I left. He did leave because... You don't remember what time you last saw your wife a lot? Look. I'm sorry. I left. Maybe... 9 p.m. Might have been a little later. Right around nine. Why did you kill her, Jacob? Things will go better if you come clean about it. That's a lousy thing to say. I never gave up on my wife. I don't believe you, Jacob. I think you didn't have the guts to do it yourself, so you had someone else do it. Exactly. You want to back that up with something, Big Mouth? Huh? The note by the phone suggests you meant her harm. You want the truth? The truth is I was sick to death of her. I was trying to have her committed. So you can prove that you came back here after you left your wife's place. I came back here, I was here all night. Start work at 6.30. I'm not the going out type. Sounds true. Yeah, it's true. No, no, bad. He's looking away. He's nervous. So you were here, tucked up in bed, while someone was out there beating your wife's brains out. That's all you've got? Talk to the bartender at the Bomba Club. He'll tell you, he called here last night, and I answered the phone. We're still gonna need you to come downtown, Mr. Henry. We can get this all down on paper, Jacob. How you got fed up with your wife, and how you figured killing her would bury all your troubles. Kill my own wife? She was a lost in a trap, and you just couldn't stand it anymore. Shut your goddamn mouth. <laughs> so now you're gonna tell me you loved her? Ah, the DA goes all gooey over remorse, Jacob. Doesn't look good for you, Jacob. What's this bunker? Let me. I couldn't even punch him.
call it in and get a squad car dispatched. And check for messages. I'll keep old Slugger here company. Operator, give me dispatch. Putting you through now. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. How can I help, Detective? I need a patrol unit to transport a suspect back to Central. Certainly, Detective. You have a message from the coroner. Do you wish to be put through? Yes, ma'am. Carruthers. It's Phelps. I've completed the autopsy. Several wounds to the head from a blunt metal instrument. Closest match would be a socket wrench handle. So the cause of death was the blunt... No, the blows to the head surprisingly were not fatal. Death was from hemorrhage and shock from the fractured ribs and multiple injuries caused by the stomping. Anything else? He's some kind of sex fiend. The tissues of the anus were bruised about one-eighth of an inch, but no trace of semen in the anus, vagina, or stomach. Thanks, Doc. Operator, give me R and I. Any word on an owner for that vehicle? License was two boy eight eight nine nine. Yes, Detective. The plate belongs to a brown nineteen thirty six Pontiac. Registered owner is one Alonzo Mendez of four oh two South Fremont Street, apartment sixteen. Thanks. Any other messages? One, Detective, from Captain Donnelly. He wants any and all suspects returned to Central. Interviews to be set up immediately. Got it. We're coming in. Alonzo Mendez. Sound like Sounds like a man who moonlights as the werewolf. Don't sound like a man I'd let my daughter anywhere near. You've got a daughter. Spend enough time drinking, Cole, you'll find yourself with any number of things you don't want when you're sober. So that's why you never sober up. Exactly. Her brother said she took a real pounding. Maybe if he had been a little firmer in the beginning, he wouldn't be in this situation now. I imagine that Neanderthal routine is a big hit with the ladies, Galloway. Women love me, though. I have no complexity. They know exactly what they're gonna get. Mendez, apartment 16. The fourth floor. Here, the apartment's up on the top floor.
Don't bother knocking, just kick the door in. Take a look around and see what you can find. Blood can be typed. Brothers could match the color and brand of the body. We have the murder weapon. We better get Pinker down here. Why keep it? Why not throw it away? Think these clowns are geniuses? Thank your stars, you caught a break. Captain Don would begin to like it. Hey, what gives? LAPD, you're under arrest. Do not lose that son of a bitch. I'll go get our wheels. Mendez, stop right there. Alonzo! Come back here, you met. Get in and drive. Under arrest for the murder of Celine Henry. Put your hands in the air! I ain't seen a goddamn thing. You did a grand job, lads. Phelps, that's quite a way to acquit yourself in your first outing as a homicide investigator. It seems the city has a new and vengeful guardian. 
Considering the evidence against your suspect and the thoroughness with which you reported the compiler, I foresee the safe dead. passage through the course, and the DA agrees with me. Brutality on a scale such as this deserves retribution. The people and the press of this city demand it. I didn't get to interrogate him. It's gonna tell me it now. This is in the bag, even if you did leave Jacob sweating in central lock up. Okay. Five or seven something I need clues. But with the clues, not all of them are are uh, Galloway. Got it, Skipper. Yeah, I'll bring him. He's my partner, after all. What have we got? New case. White female dumped in plain sight in the grass at the end of Hill Street. Hacks are all over it. Captain's trying to fend him off. That sounds awfully similar. The first rule of police work is make no assumptions until you've seen the evidence. Skipper wants you to have your newspaper face on the college boy. I think I know the place where they found the lady. It overlooks Sunset Boulevard. Let's go. As you also say, master plans of metropolitan. That's a cop. No, she has a cop. Can we get him, please? Come? You did a decent job on the Henry case, Phelps. Not bad for the first time at that. Thanks, Rusty. Don't go getting ahead of yourself. That's one clearance under your belt. Now it's a new day with a new dead lady that needs our attention. No assumptions until we see the evidence. I can't write this over. Right. See, I knew you were a bastard. Well, you might get along with the world. Sorry. I think the 40s is one of my, one of the best. It hits for me, like, as in it's nostalgic, but though I have no memory of it, it feels so nice. <laughs> Going on 
circles. Just go easy, Phelps. Now, boys, boys, you know as much as I do. I'll be holding a press conference once the autopsy's been completed. I have two of my finest investigators on the case. Fresh from bringing down the sword of justice on the crazed sex... Captain, aren't there similarities between this murder and the murder of Celine Henry? And of Elizabeth Short, for that matter. So you don't matter. believe there's a crazed sex killer at large boys, preying on women? Boys, be sensible. We have the greatest police force in all the world, but the greatest scientific investigators are our disposal. How can any killer continue to be that? Be advised. We keep the gas chamber at San Quentin primed for the sons of Cain who continue to believe they can take a life in the city of angels. Yeah, right. Any new leads in the Dahlia case? Run along, boys, and let these officers get to work. We have God's work to do here, and it can't be delayed. What do we have, Captain? Another woman sacrificed. Speak to Carruthers. I want daily reports, gentlemen. It like the parking lot where she died. Detective, I was first on scene. You find her, Gonzalez? Not me. Family out for a stroll. I was first reporting. And you show me the body. It's under the pepper tree, this way. Can't be much help to you, Phelps. I remember this from years ago. <gasps> There she is. Well, look up. The stopping Stop angle in the Henry case. Was, was it reported in the press? press? Sure was. Every detail oh, it's an actual serial killer. Story. Who's doing all these killings, I think? No, no, no. Scratch that. It's just... They kill women. What's this mark? Cut on the finger. Fourth finger, left hand. A wedding or engagement ring. Violently removed. Looks like she was tied up. It does at first, but that would leave a mark on her other wrist, too. I think her watch might have been torn off. Not the arm. Can I check on her neck? Look at your marker. Very distinctive. I'll do some comparisons back at the lab and get back to you.
Okay. Oh, we have a name. Can you run Deirdre Muller by R and I? Back in a second. says that Deidre Mahler of 130 North Bonnie Bray was reported missing this morning by her husband, Hugo Mahler. What'd I tell you? Just grab the husband, take him downtown and work him over. And have this wrapped up by lunchtime. What about not making assumptions and going on the evidence? Robbery. Why not take the money? Still might be some play in the boyfriend. I thought we were on our way to lock up the husband. If you don't breathe, Phelps. Breathe, damn it. If it doesn't work out, then. Deirdre Muller has suffered enough. More than enough. You shouldn't make disparaging comments about her without even the slightest inkling of what she was like. She was a woman, wasn't she? Well, around about my third divorce, I realized women might not be the pure angels we imagined. You're married, ain't you, Phelps? Don't, Don't make any insinuations about my wife. Hey, she's a woman. She's the mother of my children. <laughs> you're a father, Cole? But don't tell me your eye don't bend. This conversation is over.
we survive this, it's gonna be a miracle. Please, you've got to call for help. He doesn't look real good. Quick, what happened? Some punk held up my stand. This guy tried to help and got a bullet for his trouble. He got hit and hightailed it through the parking lot. Get going! Closer, I'll pull the trigger. Put the weapon down now. What the hell? What are you waiting for, Phelps? Up and at him. I'll hold up here, Phelps. Car 11K calling KGPL. Shots fired. Suspect is down. We're code 4, but I need an ambulance on Grand between 4th and 5th Streets. 11K, Roger on your ambulance. All units be advised. The suspect is down on Grand between 4th and 5th Streets. Repeat, the suspect is down. Code 4. Great. How are we going to look getting around in this thing, Cole? <laughs> Steady, come on!
bad boy. Okay, the big one in the back. Let's see if I'm Search this. Let me see this car online. Wow, that's a really nice car.
I get the point. Loading. Hello. Well, hello to you, new FIFA Live PS4. Thank you for joining into the stream and watching this LA Noir gameplay with chill commentary. So we can both enjoy the game. We may enjoy it much more than like this. It's so nice, it's so classy. Wow, it's so realistic and the feel and the vibe. I love it. I can't get enough of it. Let's stick back to the murder case. Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. Is your father home? He'll be home soon. He's been out looking for mommy. What's your name, miss? Michelle Eloise Mahler. Can we come in? I suppose so. Thank you. Could you have a seat for me, Michelle? We're gonna have a look around. Yeah, they smoke in the houses, that's like what everybody is. He'll be it's back. Very, very accurate. Just I love it. Down. And I actually like it like this. Like the attitudes are accurate and everything. The style and the realistic what happened back then. Ah, oh, the ring, the ring. Hard to explain everything that you just got. Nothing to worry about. No sign of a wedding ring. Elgun wristwatch. Probably the same one snatched from her body. So we've located the missing jewelry. I'm not sure this means much. Open. Is this about mommy? Daddy is trying to find her. Please tell me she's okay. I'm sorry to have to tell you this, Michelle, but your mother is dead. Do you think you could answer a few questions for us? Try. Some of your mother's jewelry was missing. Can you describe her things? Ring, a watch, 
I never paid much attention to that stuff. She little girl just lost her mother. Of course she's telling the truth, man. I know it's painful, Michelle. But this may be important. She wore a wedding ring. And he chose it herself. The rose gold wedding band and a matching diamond and ruby engagement ring. She wore a watch? Yes. The yellow gold Elgin watch. Daddy bought it for her birthday. They had a fight. It was kind of a makeup present. When did you last see your mother? Yesterday afternoon. I went to a dance at Belmont High. Mommy was supposed to pick me up, but she didn't show. So what did you do then? I was upset. Daddy came instead. I saw something happen and Daddy came. I and did he come and get you? Of course. Some boys offered me a ride home, but that's not the right thing to do. So you were hanging around the school for quite a while. What happened with your father? I don't know. I called and called and finally he answered. He came straight away then. Your mom and dad are uh, happily married? What are you saying? Of course they are. That's a big lie. They weren't happy, were they, Michelle? Did your father ever hit your mother? Just the once. She said she would leave him if he ever did it again. He bought her a brooch pin to make up for it. And he always wore her golden butterfly. Thanks, Miss Muller. You've been very brave. Hey! What the... Daddy, the police are room, here. Michelle. I'll talk to the police. Daddy, Mommy is gone. Go to your room, young lady. She's not even out of school. You can't come in here interrogating her like she's your some kind of... Your wife was found murdered this morning. Found? What? what the... but, but she only... We have some questions that we would like to ask. I love the sure. yeah. yeah, I'll do my best. What size shoe do you wear, Mr. Muller? Why do you ask? It's routine, sir. Simple process of elimination. Nines, I think. You know anyone who wears a smallish men's shoe who had a major grudge against your wife? Is there something you would like to tell us, Hugo? No, I do not. You finished making hints? You phoned in a missing persons report this morning? Yeah, that's right. Uh, my wife didn't come home last night. She left around... She left around 9.30. Uh, Michelle was out of dance. She called me to let me know that Deidre didn't turn up. Did your wife ever go out by herself? To bars? Nightclubs? No. What are you, what are you suggesting? Are you suggesting my wife's loose? <laughs> now is not the time for you to be pushing me, mister. Your daughter said you were having an argument. We argued about who would pick up Michelle. I worked a full day. I wanted to come home, put my feet up. So you were here all night. You stayed in while your wife went out to pick up your daughter? Yes, that's correct. You got any way of confirming this story of yours? You son of a bitch. You come here making all these accusations. Your wife went to pick up Michelle? Yes. That's right. He's moving so much. 
What happened, Hugo? You got any theories? Because we're starting to like you for this. The car park by the school is kind of dark. Uh, maybe somebody jumped over there. Did you try the parking lot? Your wife was beaten and then strangled. In your case, you have no alibi and a history of violence towards your wife. That's not, that's not true, goddammit. I think you set this up, Hugo. I think you kicked up a fuss about staying home for an alibi. Then you followed your wife and murdered her. I could accuse him, but I didn't You're out of your mind coming in here, making accusations like that. Come out of the yard and I'll make you take that back, mister. Getting hostile with us is a very bad idea, Hugo. I'm no murderer. Make some arrangements for your daughter, and then present yourself to Central Station for questioning. You gotta be kidding me, Felt. Put the cuffs on. This is an outrage! I didn't kill my wife! Your daughter is in the next room, Muller, so I'm giving you a break. Don't make me change my mind, and don't make me come looking for you. We should go back in there and bust his ass. One, we need to break his alibi, check phone records, canvas the neighbors. Two, we have motive of domestic violence, which probably goes for half the men in L.A. Three, we have no evidence tying to the crime scene. Hello? Detective! Yes, ma'am? I heard the terrible news over the radio. And you can help us with our inquiries? Yes, sir. They had a row last night? I heard Mrs. Muller screaming. Did you see Mrs. Muller come home late last night at all? No, not at all. I did see Mr. Muller put something in the incinerator earlier this morning, though. I told you he was our guy. Now let's get this bum downtown and into a cell. Look, there he is now. Step away from the incinerator. Don't let him get away. No shooting. We need this guy to make the case. There he is, officer. This doesn't look good, Hugo. The thing is, is I, 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 the I said he was lying. Okay. Is there no how to accuse him? I didn't know exactly what size shoes they were. I didn't know if he he had said the correct shoe size. Get him booked in at Central Officer. Then put him in an interview room. We'll be speaking with him later. And inform the cat. Yes, sir, Detective. Is there someone you can call, Miss? I don't want a woman. You need somewhere to stay, Michelle. You have other family? Grandparents? Aunts or uncle? Call Aunt Helen, but she lives in Bakersfield and... Call her. We're gonna get someone down here from Juvenile Hall to talk to you in the meantime. We ought to get some uniforms down here, clean up, take care of the kid. Operator message for KGPL. Putting you through now. Cole Phelps, badge 1247. How could I help, Detective? I need an address on a Belmont High School. Checking for you, Detective. Belmont High, 1575 West 2nd Street. Thanks, ma'am. <laughs> Galloway, homicide division, badge number 564. Can we get Ray Pinker and attend the service to into a house at 130 North Bonnie Bray Street? Send someone down from Juvenile Hall to look after a young lady. Roger, okay. let <laughs> My partner's in the other car.
It's the first season since Fabergasting's over. We have to go. I told you, I can't Saturday. I'm busy. Busy where? You're going on another drive with Baby Gardner, aren't you? So what if I am? Scoreboard. You probably notice all these signs. I notice them before I tell you them. But everything from clothing to signs to cars to the detail. Eleven K, go ahead. Eleven K, see the janitor. A green nineteen forty six coupe registered to a Mrs. Hugo Moeller has been found in the parking lot adjoining the Belmont High School and playing fields. Eleven K code two. What's your name? Who's asked? We can do this the easy way or the hard way. Name's Eli Rooney. You've been in trouble with the law before, Eli? Son. What are you doing around here? I like to keep an eye on the children. Strictly paternal, is it, Eli? Don't sass me, boy. A woman was abducted here last night, Eli, and murdered. And I would love to make you for that, you low motherfucker. Well, I wouldn't know nothing about that. A woman, you say? I like a little younger than that. Turn out your pockets, Eli. Now, why would I do that? Because I'm about to break your fucking skull, Eli. You're under arrest, Eli. You're in very deep trouble. Get some backup down here, Rusty. We need to get this one downtown and into a cell. I'll tell them we got a kitty reaper. <laughs> what time did you see the person park the car? Late last night, after school social, maybe 1 a.m. I've been keeping a good eye out lately. We've had problems with the child molester. Eli Rooney. We've met him. Filthy son of a bitch. He was here yesterday before the dance. Was it him you saw park the car? I don't know, sir. I'd like to say yes, but the truth is it was pretty dark. Would you say Rooney is violent? Yes, sir. I would say so, yes. Thanks for your help. So you'd expect it to be more safer back then. And it was in some parts, but... Like in LA, it wouldn't be necessarily. There's still there quite a few pedophiles. There is no Blood and skin samples. We better get Ray Pinker out here. It's from a Chrysler. Could be important. The overalls are stenciled HM. Muller is a mechanic. I wonder what Eli does for a living.
Phelps. I read about him. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. How could I help, Detective? I need interrogation set up at Central for both suspects being held in the Mahler homicide case. See the plane that goes off in the corner? Certainly, Detective. I'll get in touch with the watch commander. Thanks for your help. I say we make Rooney for this. I think we should lay it on him. He was near the car, he had her jewelry, the DA will love him for it. Even if he didn't do it? Who cares whether he did it? You have kids, Bill? He needs to be taken permanently out of harm's way. And we let Muller slide? For a while. He gets a free pass from him. I don't know about this. My gut says Muller. We caught him trying to destroy evidence in his backyard. And that was his car with the bloody tools in it. I never said it wasn't him. Hell, he probably killed his wife, deprived that poor kid of a mother. But he's not in immediate danger to anyone else. Rooney's a threat to every kid at Belmont. He's a peeper, Rusty. We can pick him up for something. Watch where you're driving, you maniac! You really want to run that risk? So cool, man. I, I can't stop talking about that lifestyle. That's nice. The booty spine was loud. <laughs> oh. Killing someone and destroying my car. What the? What are you thinking, lady? Excuse me, sir. Can we stay here for a That's fucking great. I need this vehicle. Police business. I need a gun in the glove compartment to shoot you. Let's search this car. Well, let's please master to the owner. Two people are viewing. Okay, wait, we've got two people viewing. Let's stop in the middle of the road and... Check who's viewing. Live. I can't actually check who's watching. I just realized now that the volume is actually... Would you ever go out by yourself? To bars? Nightclubs? No. What are you, what are you suggesting? Are you suggesting our wife's loose? <laughs> Hell no. 
stop the time for you to be pushed to me, mister. Your daughter said you were having an argument. We argued about who would pick up Michelle. I worked a full day. I wanted to... I know it might sound bad with the echo effect. But I'm, I'm like sitting a bit close to my TV. Because it feels nicer like so for me. Carmen's maybe. I forgot what it says. Come to me, all oh, you are weary. Phelps, Rusty, thanks for coming. Can you blood type the shoes that we bagged and see if they're a match? Sure. It'll all be in the report, but I'm assuming you want the details now? Please. Cause of death is strangulation? Correct. Take a look at the samples on the bench. for that kind of rope on boats mooring lines correct although Ray says that they're sometimes used as bell ropes in churches so are we looking for a, a sailor or a minister well in my experience sailors seem to have the greater libido was mrs. Muller criminally attacked no external or internal traces of semen thanks ma'am anything else comes up you let us know Not exactly the happiest of places, the coroner's office. Carruthers is a good man, professional, diligent. If you're working with... God, you're gonna kill us! Funny job, that, the coroners. How so? You know, you don't want them enjoying their work too much. The wrong kind of man can get awfully lonely rattling around a joint full of corpses. Rusty, that's like something out of the pulps. You've been reading the same ones as me? I thought you were usually too drunk to get through a magazine. You know, if I close one eye...
You better not go soft on me in here, Phelps. We'll work the evidence, Rusty. Let him do the rest. Are they ready? Bowler's in two and the pervert's in one. Get in there and get a conviction. Captain, we were on our way to interview Eli Rooney. Yes, folks, I know. <laughs> this particular fiend is an old acquaintance. I have tried to reaffirm his belief in a wrathful and terrible god. Whichever way it goes, I'll be dealing personally. You look like you've had it rough. You see me asking for your sympathy, boy? You're down on your luck, Eli. I have worse. My family ate roadkill during the dust bowl. But you have a job. A parolee has to have a job, correct? I had me a job down in San Pedro. I'm looking for something new. What kind of job, you like? Working fishing boats, odd jobs around the boat yards. I'm pretty good with my hands. You ever tie up any of your victims, Eli? It's not a nice thing to go call them now. What would you call them? I can't say. I learned a long time ago not to go talk about the things I like. Talking about it just seems to get people's dander up. Answer the goddamn question, Rooney, before I brain you. See what I mean? Short answer is yes. You have any preference regarding rope, Eli? I know a good rope from a bad rope, if that's what you mean. That's not what you mean, is it? Any old rope will do me fine. You're lying, Eli. You're a creature of habit. You just get out of jail and you're back to your old ways. You use a specific type of rope. That may be the case. But you got nothing that says I used a rope to hurt that woman. I think you should let me go. Is there some money coming my way for finding that butterfly? You killed Mrs. Muller and stole her jewelry. That ain't so. I ain't done nothing like that. You have no job, and nowhere to live by the smell of things, and you need money. You've been in trouble before, Eli. Who do you think a jury will believe? I've been in trouble for other things, but I ain't never killed no one. I saw that car coming to the parking lot late last night. Man got changed there and he put his coveralls in the trunk. I saw him drop the butterfly in the lamplight, and he strolled out, cool as you like. And I went over and I picked it up. I don't like you, Eli. I think you're an evil man. I think you try to pass off your pain to other people. I can't make you for this case. But my consolation is that I don't think you will be out of prison for very long. You can count on it, shitbird. By the way, Eli, the captain and the hat squad would like to talk to you next. Any idea what they might want to talk about? For my money, Hugo Moller is our number one suspect. The evidence is solid. I think it's time we hit him with it. Here's where we stand, Hugo. Your next door neighbor heard screaming coming from your house. You were burning your blood-stained shoes. You have no one who can confirm your whereabouts last night. Your daughter says you're a violent man. We have everything we need to send you to death row. And all you have to say for yourself is, I didn't do it. I swear I didn't kill her. Give me that lie test. I can prove it.
Why did you burn your shoes, Hugo? Because I knew you'd never believe me. Are you going to tell me what I want to know, or do we have to take it out of you in lumps? Give it your best shot. I can take whatever you're throwing. Oh, my gosh. Do you know anything about ropes, Hugo? As much as the next man. I, I was a scout. I learned some more in the army. Chin. He's moving his eyes. He's looking up and down bad. You learned to strangle with the rope in the army? With rope, with uh, my bare hands, but mainly with wire. I learned a lot of things in the army, but I, I still didn't kill my wife. For argument's sake, what type of rope would you use? If I had to, I would use a triple braid. Less flex, easier control. Your wife was beaten with a tire iron, Hugo. An appropriate choice of tool for a mechanic. I know nothing about any tire iron. You're lying, Hugo. You're gonna have to come clean on this. You got that proof. Your wife drove a Chevrolet, Hugo. What make of car do you drive? A Chrysler Airflow. So I guess that explains why the tire iron that killed your wife came from a Chrysler. We found your wife's car. Someone parked it at the school late last night. Do you have anything to say about that? It wasn't me. Where do you keep your work clothes? I keep them at work in my locker. Enough lies, Hugo. Your overalls put you at the scene of the crime last night. My overalls are in the laundry of my house. Green overalls, bloodstained, with the initials HM, found in the trunk of your wife's car. They can't be mine. Why, Hugo? Because if they were yours, they'd be in the incinerator, too? George Hip. Hugo Muller, I'm charging you with the murder of your wife. You'll be arraigned and taken before a grand jury. Book him, Rusty. With pleasure. say I'm disappointed. I stood in front of a troop of reporters and made promises. Promises of swift and fearful retribution, and you bring me an armful of vagary and happenstance. You made the department look bad, lad. Do it again and your career as a policeman will come to an abrupt and ignominious end. You two are back on the streets. Find street criminals, rouse them, beat them, and restore some fervor to your police work. Your next case will come when you've revived my faith in your abilities. Now get out of here! This was I wrong? I know I put quite a few wrong. While Hugo Muller stares down the murder charge, Misha Muller comes up. Okay, but I have to do the right thing. <sighs> That's the job of a detective, man. It's hard. Belt! We captured two regular army. Lieutenant! Belt, we've been over this. That sniper barely missed you back on the beach. Until the mission is over, there'll be no more saluting or signs of brain. I'm in charge here, Medier. Do you wish to interrogate the prisoners? Killed them yet. 
There is no greater shame than being taken prisoner. The no kai so to na mai o. That jab right upside the head. It was merely to remind him of his place. His shame was the tone of voice that he used with a superior. I respect the Japanese corporal. Respect, we're here to kill the sons of bitches. Do you know why we're fighting the Japanese private? With respect, sir, these bastards attacked Pearl Harbor. And why did they attack Pearl, private? Because they hate the U.S. of A and our way of life. They attacked the U.S. because we cut off their oil. What would we do if another country denied us the gas to run our cars? I don't know if if I should do this one or if I should finish it here, guys. Oh. Mm. I really want to do it. I can't do this one. This will be the last one, I think. Okay, yeah, this will be the last one. All right, just for you. Ah, well, I was just discussing with Finbar here how well you were doing. Have a seat. Yeah, my real name. And you can just forget all about it. You boys have a new case. A poor Hispanic woman murdered near City Hall and left lying naked in an alleyway. Another naked woman, sir? Yes. We seem to have had quite a run of them since the Dahlia fiend first struck. Phelps is politely trying to hint that he thinks the Mendes case is hokey. Well, young Phelps, you win some, and you lose some in police work. You're happy with the Mueller case, sir? Over the moon, boys! The DA couldn't be more pleased with the evidence, the witness, and the lack of an alibi. Now, get out there and catch me another sinner. The address? It's the alley off Aliso between Los Angeles and Alameda. You're kidding. The next one will be opposite Central Station. Count yourself lucky, fellas. Most guys would kill to land a case so close to their desk. Yeah. It means they can pop in to hit the office supply of hooch whenever they need it. You know, that ain't a bad idea. That is not a bad idea at all, fellas. Calling all cars. Listen, reports. Officer needs help. Shots fired. Detectives, they're ready to start the show. I'll take you through. Oh, for Christ's sake. Brothers, Pinker. Cause of death is pretty apparent. We thought we'd best wait for you when you're ready. Lacerations on the neck would indicate a great deal of force. Kiss the blood, BD. A 
another wedding ring torn from the finger. No skin under the fingernails. But the thing is, how is it a, a serial killer doing this if there's a person doing it? old. But why the library card? Did he want us to find it? Look, if she was in the Mueller case was solid. I'm not convinced about Mendez. The best way to get away with murder is to pin it on somebody else. I'll bet a month's salary this is a copycat. Strangled, battered, Yeah, naked. yeah, yeah, we know the M.O. So does every jerk who kills his wife and girlfriend looking for a way out. I've spoken to Brown. He still believes the Dahlia perp has medical experience. Four women, all murdered, all put on display, all with messages. Mueller had no message. Look, Phelps, this is getting us nowhere. Anything for us to go on, Mal? Head injuries from contact with road, bruising from a small man's shoe, further blunt force trauma to the occipital region at the base of the skull. Could have been fatal, but clear signs of strangulation would seem to rule it out. Lipstick appears to be a similar color to the other cases. I'll see if I can nail down a brand. If she took a blow to the head like the others, she was probably unconscious when strangled. May as well follow the trail. Same as a library card.
Another day, another dollar. Proximity to the scene, plus the bloodstains. No way is this coincidence. We kept the area pristine for you boys. Let's check it out. House keys strung up like bait on a hook. You think he's trying to lead us somewhere? Probably all the way to City Hall. That boy is something up there. got to be a code or a cipher. Where are you taking us? Empty. 
Where is all of this meant to be taking us? He clearly wants us to find these things. He's left them for us. There you go, Phelps. You got a new M.O. I told you. Or he might just be getting more confident. Enameled and gold plated. This was precious to her. The trail points up. Here. What's the significance? Son of a bitch, once her identified. Mrs. Antonia Maldonado, 712 North Hill Street, downtown. It was Mrs. Maldonado, right? That's affirmative. All right, so then there's a husband we should be looking for. Get him? We've closed the case. Ah, uh, Rusty's razor, of course. I don't want to question your tried and tested techniques, Detective Galloway. But doesn't the DA require sound casework before he'll close the book? Not if he's got a confession. And, you know, there's ways of getting it. I'm sure. He drove me up to Mojave and we did some work. Wait just a moment! I'm sorry. Can I help you? LAPD, ma'am. Detective Phelps and Galloway. Does Mrs. Maldonado live here? Yes, she does. I'm Mrs. Barbara Lepente, the owner of this boarding house. Is there a problem? I'm afraid so, ma'am. You mind if we come in? Is there somewhere we can discuss this? Of course. Follow me through to the parlor. Wipe your feet as you come in, detectives. It's this way. Mrs. Maldonado was found dead this morning. Dead? Oh, no. She can't be. I'm afraid she was murdered, ma'am. We need to take a look at her things. I can't believe it. 
A person seems so alive, and then they're gone. Antonia's room is upstairs, last door on the left. Thank you. We'll be back shortly. Uh, excuse us a moment, ma'am. What are we waiting for? Look at that. Someone's turned the place over. Okay, we have an address. The charm bracelet wasn't among the crime scene evidence. The smashed window explains why the place looks tossed. You know how I feel about windows, Phelps. We have some questions, ma'am, if you're up to it. Yes, Detective. I'll do my best. Do you have any idea who might have wanted to hurt Mrs. Maldonado? That rat, her husband. Angel. She was serving him divorce papers. If I killed every wife to serve me papers, I'd be a mass murderer. Are you being flippant, young man? No, ma'am. What can you tell us about Angel Maldonado? She married him when she was 17. He was cruel to her, very cruel. She was a good girl, little on the religious side, but a good girl. What time did Antonia go out yesterday? She left around nine. Do you know where she went? No, I, I have no idea. She was a good girl, but she didn't confide in me.
Come on, Mrs. Lepenti, you must have some idea. Maybe a movie? Maybe church. She was a very religious girl. You've had a break-in? No! That can't be true. The window's broken. The room's been tossed. You seem like the type of landlady who notices everything that happens under her roof. What gives? Don't take that tone of voice with me, young man. Antonia and her husband were estranged? Yes. She moved here after she separated from her husband I knew two that. months ago. But Antonia still wore a wedding ring? She wore the wedding ring and a necklace. She always wore a religious necklace. That's about all of her jewelry. What about her bracelet? I don't know anything about her bracelet. In her wedding photo, she's displaying a charm bracelet. That thing? She never wore it. He gave it to her. She always kept it in that wooden jewelry box. Thanks, ma'am. You've been very helpful. Pay a call to that husband of hers. Lock him up and throw away the key. I've said it right from the start. She'd come down hard on the husband. Let's check his place out. Think there's anything to the divorce angle? I've been through three, fellas. No big deal. After a while, you just numb yourself to the experience. But Angel, he's a young Latino man. It would hurt his sense of who he is. He'd see himself as a failure, a woman taking control over his life. Then she fronts him and he snaps. Works for me. That makes Angel a killer as well as a piece of shit. Aldonado is in apartment 304. Phelps, this could turn ugly. Forget about knocking. Let's take our boy by surprise. LAPD, motherfucker, you're under arrest. Don't make me hurt you. I got nothing to say.
Damn. They got some decent shots in there. Cuff these sons of bitches, Phelps. LAPD, you two are under arrest. Call for some backup, Finbar. Galloway, badge number 564. I need a prowl car at the apartment building 330 North Hill Street. Two suspects need transporting to Central. Your wife has been murdered, Angel. Antonia? Oh, God, no! Where were you last night, Angel? I was here with my brother the whole night, God damn it! You think I could kill my own wife? Should get the whole place of going over and talk to the neighbors. And Phelps, I don't care that you just got smacked in the head. You don't call me Finbar. Just picked fruit market. I wonder if Angel gets all his groceries from this place. <laughs> 